What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today... Obviously, we have market talk as per usual, some methods and whatnot. Man, please, before we get into this video, drop a like, drop a sub, and all that good stuff. Man, we got a lot to talk about in this video as per usual. Pretty much just another, like, another video just trying to help you guys make MT and whatnot. And yeah, before we get into this video, I'm going to run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit sportstmb.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And dude, like straight up, there's a lot to talk about. Like literally, I don't even know. You guys are probably so done with me talking about the auction, but I just really like spreading my mind on this. Like, and also we're so close to 6K. So please drop that sub. There's a lot to talk about. And honestly, Every day I come home for work and I just, I fiend the market. I come home, I'm like, bro, I need to talk to you guys. I need to bust out some market tips. Like literally I do it every day, twice a day, three times a day. I don't care, bro. I talk about the market too much because honestly, in my opinion, the market's probably one of the most fun things about this game, if not the most fun thing in this game. So let's get into it. Let's talk about some things, some things that you probably invested in and what you should have done. So as you guys know, those flash packs are out. Now, I think new flash sets are coming out. I think new flash packs are coming out. This bird, honestly, you guys should probably, if you invested in bird yesterday, you can make some MT. I got one for 78K in my video yesterday, and he's going for around like 90 or 89. Honestly, if you want to invest tomorrow when the pat when the market crashes, it's not a bad idea. If you have him now, you should probably sell. He's going to drop even more tomorrow, and then you can pick him up again. But yeah, since he is a buyout right now, it's totally up to you. There's going to be an Opal Bird sooner or later. And bro, if you guys follow me on Twitter, all I've been seeing is the damn set reward. Like, no one knows who this prime player is. Like, I've seen a million set rewards. Like, I've seen a LeBron. I've seen a Ben Simmons Opal. Whoever is posting the stuff on twitter about these prime series cards is fake so they did not release the player yet anything you see on twitter is not real just want to go over that before we get into some crazy market stuff so also these packs are gone soon i think i'm off to work tomorrow if we're off work tomorrow we're gonna to have a ton of videos for you guys i'm gonna be ready to invest and oh my god if you guys didn't invest or in the first hour, I would say these those packs dropped. You pretty much lost a ton of MT. You missed you missed out on a ton of profits and a ton of MT. As you guys can see, LeBron is up a lot. And honestly, I kind of want to sell my LeBron. I think it's only a matter of time before they drop a new tall point guard like LeBron. And like I said, man, um, if you really want to sell your cards, right now is a really good time to sell anything you got. Your Opal, if you if you're not planning on doing the Prime set. You can sell your KD, you can sell your Curry. Everything is honestly at their max price until another market crash comes, until another Opal drops. And yeah, they're going to drop something. So you guys should stay prepared. Like, honestly, just listen to my methods. I know something's coming. You guys got to stay prepared. Something is definitely coming. You guys need to have your MT up. Like I said, bro, almost in every single video, get your MT up to snipe. Get your MT up to make MT trust the process like i literally just need you guys to hear me out and make some mt with me because if you don't have your mt to invest in the market crash you're really it's really gonna suck like you need maximal amount of mt and honestly since they did drop these packs only in vc the next packs they drop are are probably gonna be um with mt as well they pretty much just only do super packs with vc and like i said man if you really want to give 2k vc money I don't know, man. If you spend 50 bucks on my sponsor, you spend 200,000 VC here, you get 50 bucks. 50 bucks off my sponsor, I believe, is like 400,000 MT or 300 something thousand MT. So, honestly, think about it. You spend 50 bucks, you get this box. You get 20 cards. You get 20 cards at a chance of one of these things. So, 
If you don't pull an Opal, you pretty much, if you don't pull an Opal or a LeBron, you take an L. So that's what I think. If you pop these packs, they're not worth it at all, in my opinion. But yeah, that's that's my that's what I think. I think buying MT is a lot better. And honestly, you should definitely try buying MT with my sponsor. They're quick, reliable, and you will not get banned. So if you really need MT, let me know. Also, I want to talk about Karis Levert. This card's actually that good with a 99O and a 98D. He's really, really good. So if you guys really do like this card, I would wait though. Like if you have him, I would sell him. He's gonna keep dropping. He is only a 97 pink diamond, even though his stats are really that good. He he's a good card. Like I'm not gonna say he's not. If you want to try to snipe him out, I feel like I could probably snipe out snipe him out. I feel like he's not a hard card to snipe, but he'll probably be like 50k in no time. And also, all the Kristops are out. All those the Shake Middleton and whatnot, they're out of pack. So I would recommend selling that as well today. Pretty much anything in the game that you have, you should sell. If you guys don't remember, I pulled Shake Milton in my pack yesterday. I also pulled Kawhi Leonard in my pack yesterday. So big W's in the chat, like straight up. I'm probably, I don't know if I should do this set or not, but wow. It's literally crazy what's going on. Tomorrow, we are going to see, I don't know, man. If they drop Flash Super Pack, something tells me another Flash Pack. But I don't know. We could see Prime. I don't really know. Like, I don't know what's going down. People are saying we're going to see Galaxy Opal, Kevin Garnett for the Prime set. I don't know. But, yo, let's go over some cards. I'm going to tell you to sell and whatnot because I know a lot of people do like that. So, wow. If you have Moment Zion, I literally been talking about this card so much. If you have Moment Zion, can you please just take the W and sell him? Like, I know he's probably so good for you. But, like, dude. But, like, dude, like, if you have the Diamond Zion and you rather use the Pink Diamond over them, it's, it's, they're similar as hell. Like, for 130k, I should have got him for 82k the other day. He was 82,000 MT, no lie, I swear to you guys. 82,000 MT, he's now 132,000 five days later. If I waited, nah, six days later, if I waited six days and I got a Zion, he would have sold for 130k. We're talking about 130k, that is what 40 something k profit or 30 something k profit what for a pink diamond zion my whole team's better than this pink diamond zion most of your players are better than this pink diamond zion it's just the name like i said ruby zion's even going for 10k dude i'm telling you if there's cards that you know have hype like a Giannis card a zion card any cards that have hype and have good stats they're gonna go up in value so when the market crashes you want to pick them up like, for instance, Ruby Zion was a really good one. When he dropped in Super Packs, he went down around 4-ish K. And I'm pretty sure he's selling for around, like, 8, 9 K. So, whoever scooped up a ton of Zions is dubbing out. I don't know what he's selling for. Let's see. 8,000 something. 7,000, okay? After those two silver 7 K, he's at 8 K again. So, you sell for 7,000, you're making 2,500 a piece. 2,500 a piece times 10 is 25 K. If you spend 10 at 4K, that's 40K. 40K to make 25K. I don't know, bro. That is insane. That's literally doubling pretty much your MT. So, I don't know. There's a lot of methods. Also, since these cards already buy out. Like, I like paying attention to buy out pink diamonds that were a bit at a point. So, honestly, Larry Bird and Bosch are going to be players you want to keep your eyes out for. Because, first off, they're really good pink diamonds, in my opinion. Like, they're not that good at defense. But in my opinion, I think Bosch is still really good in this game. And I think he's a must cop because his jump shot is that money. To see him at 81K, honestly, if you see him at 75 or under, he's a must cop. Please get him. And same with Bird. Their prices are probably going to drop tomorrow. But if you see them go up overnight, I would cop some. Honestly, I might pull the trigger and cop one because, bro, they're that good. Larry Bird and Bosch were at 100K buy all year. I really think they are going to rise. If they don't rise, that's all on me. That's my fault. And also, man, Chauncey Billups, J.R. Smith, they're all going to rise. Everyone in this card are going to rise because then they're out of packs for good and there's no other way you can get them. So they drop these super packs because they're that rare. And, you know, they are definitely going to be down in price. Like these Ben Simmons, they're all going to be above a bid very soon probably. Probably. Ben Simmons might stay down. I might have to pick up that 100K J.R. Smith. Honestly, he's really good. But, yeah, that's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like these tips are really good like you guys should really take advantage of these tips listen to what i'm saying put it in the back of your head and please use it if you have any tips for me to use for you guys tips to all the community let me know on twitter make sure to follow the twitter and all that good stuff 
But yeah, that's really all I got. Hope you guys enjoy and have a good one. Peace.